Very much a car guy, I was told. Believed in playing with Model A's and Model T's and everything else. You know, one day he decided he's going to drive down Airport Road in Davenport, Iowa. Saw a bunch of guys working on a few airplanes in a hangar and kind of was hooked. Jim Smith, come on up. Jim has been around for just a little bit. Uh, remember since 1962, he was involved during the Rockford days. He was one of the people that actually created the emergency aircraft repair. It was here in Oshkosh and here in Oshkosh. It started, which I really wasn't aware of this, I just figured it was a bunch of guys that were probably A&Ps and whatnot and were gonna help people fix their wrecked airplanes. But it was a little bit lesser than that, but yet more than that. What they did is they lended pot tools to pilots, not only tools, but expertise, advice, and made sure they were sent to the right FBO on the airport so the FBOs wouldn't lose any money or problems and take care of the people. And it's been their credo ever since. It was never meant to be, or not as today, a service familiar, similar to an FBO, but a service to assist aircraft owners and pilots in determining what might be wrong. They assist anywhere from 150 to 250 owners and pilots here at our venture a season or when we have the convention. That's a lot of people. Jim and his fellow, this is one thing I like about this. This is a cute story. Jim and his fellow volunteers welcome new members, or new volunteers with open arms. However, there is one catch. They have to join chapter 75 and they have to pay the $10 dues up front. If they don't have it, Jim and his group pay for it for them and they become volunteers from the emergency aircraft repair. Jim also is a, uh, is a very uh, stout teacher. You know, he will, uh, he will take care of anybody. He's going to teach anybody how to weld. This is the one I kind of like the most. Providing they have a project, providing they have their own equipment, and providing they have a shop. He doesn't believe he should just teach somebody how to weld. He wants to teach somebody how to weld and build an airplane so it keeps on going. I think that's very cool. Jim received his A&P and IA based on his experience over the years, along with a letter of recommendations from many other A&Ps and IAs. Jim earned an Outstanding Workmanship Award for Starduster 2 in 1991 and still flies and has a cabin class Waco. His family is also involved in aviation and in volunteering. His daughter Mindy and son-in-law Ed are both private pilots, had a Piper Tri-Pacer, and they recently completed an air bike and are about to get it ready in the air. And this is one of probably 10 that you've helped and put in your shot. So, Jim, thank you for everything you do for EA and for your fellow volunteers. Thank you. Jim, we'll put that brick here because those spots are taken already. So one less. Anyone you like, sir. Again, thank you very, very much. Jack, back to you, sir. You bet. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, the stories are always fascinating, and, and uh, some of the interesting side stories of how they volunteered over all of the years. I, I wish. Uh, in Jim's case, I would take his welding course, but Charlie Becker, who does our sport air workshops, I took his welding course and he told me that how to build an airplane if you had rivets. So, <laughs> <laughs>